Hello guys, this is True Ray here with a review on Max X DVD Ripper Pro. So let's get started. So once you boot it up, this is what you get. Max X DVD Ripper Pro basically backs up pretty much any DVD you got to your computer or to any device you want it to be backed up to. Now the interface is pretty straightforward. It's not too cluttered at all. You got all your configurations for your video formats here. So as you can see, you could copy the whole DVD. You could copy it as an mp4 format, you copy it to iTunes, an MOV format, you can copy it to music, to MPEG, or a FLV format. You can also, as I said before, copy your DVD or back it up to any device. So you can back it up to your iPod. Here, you can back it up to your Apple TV, to your iPhone, your iPad or tablet to your HTC device, to your Samsung device, to your PSP or as a AVI file format. Each of these device settings are already optimized for that specific device so you really could just go with the basic settings and start ripping right away. So if you want to rip a DVD or back it up, you'll choose a format or a device, so I'll choose an MP4. You could change the audio quality, the audio sample rate, the volume of the backed up DVD. So if it's not loud enough for you, you could change that here. So the higher the kilobytes per second is, the more storage your video or backup will consume. You got your video frame rates here if you want to adjust that. You could also adjust the aspect ratio or keep the original size that is on the DVD itself. And if you want to rip the DVD faster you would set your CPU to how many cores your CPU has. So if you have a quad core CPU there would be four. So I'm going to show you an example on how to rip or back up your DVD. So follow the instructions, hit DVD disk, your disk should come up, click OK. So all the titles of that disk will show up here and you could click any title, you could click both if you want, click one title. So once you've clicked the titles, you choose whatever format you want. So I'm just going to stick with MP4. I'm going to go to original size and keep aspect ratio and you just want to hit start and there you go it'll start backing up the disk so my remaining time is around 12 minutes it, it's pretty fast especially since my computer is a dual core computer the software runs really well. I have no complaints. So I'm going to stop it right here because this video will be too long. So if you like what you see, there's a link below in the description box below to purchase this software and keep on the lookout for a giveaway of this software coming up soon. So I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Take care now. Be breezy.